Cause I ain't even going out like that. Come on, y'all. I'm about to eat with a little chick from Instagram or whatnot. You feel me? This is our first date. This is our first time linking up. You feel me? We only just been talking through the gram or whatnot. So she get here. Tell me why she pop up with three kids. Three of them? You feel me? Got a five-year-old, got a seven-year-old, and a 17-year-old. I'm 27. Your oldest almost older than me. You only about 33. What age you started f You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't never, ever post these kids. So all of a sudden, we go out to eat old. I got three kids. Come on, ladies, y'all can't be doing that. We gotta do, we gotta do way better than that, man. Don't even get me started. She don't even look like what she look like on Instagram. Straight catfish. Come on, ladies, y'all. Oh, man, I ain't, uh, I ain't going out like that, man. Y'all got up. Come on, man. Come on, man. I ain't, even, uh, uh, I ain't on that. Straight up. Ain't no poor ass not like that. But come on, we gotta do better, ladies. For real. Yeah. Hey, mama. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to eat right now, mama. Mm hmm. Yeah, we got a little restaurant. Yeah, the girl I was telling you about from Instagram that I met. This Nia. Say, what's up, Nia? Hi. Yeah, this is the kids, right? Y'all say hi, kids. Hi. Uh huh. Yeah, this is little Kayla. She's five. That's Timmy. He's seven. And this Sharice, she's 17. Uh huh. Right. So, what you gonna be doing later, mama? All right. Well, let me just give you a call back later then. Mm -hmm. How the food is, kids? It's good. Look like your food good. You eating a whole lot over there. What's up, mama? What about you? How you feeling? Everything is good. Y'all think y'all gonna get something to eat to go? Come on now, you. I got it. I can handle it. Just let's just make sure they eat enough food. They good. I don't know. I, I may get a to-go box for the kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get enough. Y'all, y'all make sure y'all feel like y'all paid up, all right? All right. Yeah, so when you get you one, make sure you get me in one too. So you feel me? I got okay. it. I'm going to handle it. All right. Let me run to the car real quick. Let me go grab my wallet. I'll all be right. right back. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Y'all know we ain't doing that. Straight up out of here. Y'all know we ain't doing none of that. Uh-uh, baby. I'm sorry. You can't get me. Nah, cause we ain't doing that. Not this year. F nah, man. Don't even play me like that. Ain't even no broke ass <laughs> fit me, but three kids? Hell nah. Yo, Jet 17. <laughs> Should be paying for me. <laughs> Y'all thought this was, this, this our first date. How you expect me to just pay for three kids like that, man? Hell nah. Come on, man, I'm out of here. I don't even play like that, man. What's wrong with you, baby? Come on, man. Ain't no bro, but just I'm just saying, ladies, y'all gotta at least give a the opportunity to like let me say, yeah, don't just do the just uh, expecting me to just you feel me? I don't rock out like that, baby. Ain't no duck ass, man. I'm out of here. I don't play that. Pay for your own food, or you're gonna be washing dishes. Hell, you talking about? All right, hey, y'all, it's your girl, REX, are you saying? In this is really my third video of uh 2024 but this is also something new for me so i'm gonna reaction video that's irrelevant whatever it can be i want to put it out there that i'm gonna reaction video clearly i'm doing a reaction video but anyway so i wanted to give you know because there's a lot of single mothers in this world you know i could be a single mother right now but by the grace of god i'm not i'm free <laughs> i'm kid free by the grace of god but let me tell you something let me tell you something ladies First thing first, y'all have to learn to put. I'm I'm a New York City girl, so I'm a finesse, okay? Y'all have to learn how to put some finesse on it because these niggas is trying to finesse y'all out your draws. That's first thing first. They want something from you. And that's something that you got to keep in mind. Go into a situation knowing that, you know, not everybody is a city girl. I'm not a city girl myself. I don't consider myself a city girl, but not everybody is out to, you know, get, you know, have sex in exchange, exchange for money and i'm i'm saying that because i'm not really out for that's not what i'm out for but i am out to have a good time and i'm in it for the thrill of things and so this is why i'm a good person to give you advice because not everybody is fit for giving me advice i'm giving you advice that makes sense first of all if you're in a situation like this i'm real okay i live in the projects i'm real because from my perspective it seemed like she bought the kids because they didn't have no food in the house because you you got a 17 year old if it was about you know, him meeting your kids, which I doubt, because you should not be taking your kids on a date with somebody that you met off Instagram, on first date, nothing like that. Have a kiss and be. 
in that case, if you if you feel like you have to bring the kids with you because or maybe she lived with somebody and she couldn't leave the kids. I don't know what was what was the thing for where she brought her three kids to meet a complete stranger that she met on Instagram. That is crazy to me. But we don't judge people over here because we do crazy things and you do crazy things. So don't judge that lady. All right. So the scenario number one, she should have she should have threw some water on her face. Call me crazy. She should have threw some water on her face and let her seventeen know from from you got three kids, so you need to you ought to have a relationship with them that you got them with you. You understand? Meaning you a good parent. You understand? No, you doing you doing the right thing, so you gotta tell them like you know we about to go. I'm about to say all my brothers and sisters, cause we gotta eat. If, that, if you had to bring them with you, so you throw some water in your face and you tell yourself a story. You know, my uncle a crackhead, my my dad a crackhead, and he's sitting up here, you know, yelling at yelling at my little brothers and sisters, treating them like trash. So I said they can come with me, and I didn't want to leave him in the car, or whatever. Cause they, but I'll leave him in the car, and if he's a good man, he gonna say no, no, don't leave him in the car. And he go, you know, and if you have to shed a tear, let him know. Let him know, you know, this is this this happened. My daddy's gonna crack. And he's sitting up here just thinking he's gonna treat my little brother and sister bad. No, he not. And you let him know this is my this is my my such and such, such and such and such and such. Three of them. Three but so I brought him to eat with me. You know, you know blacks don't crack, especially if you're a black girl. You can he won't automatically believe it. That's your brother and sister. That's scenario number one. Scenario number two, which I left in the comments of this original video. When I filmed it. So, scenario number two, okay? And I want to tell you nothing. I want to do myself. Boom. So, you find yourself in a situation. So, like I said, you she could have left the kids home in general. If she had to option leave the kids home. But it seemed like she didn't have no food at home. But I'm not here to judge. She could have left the kids home. All right, boom. Leave the kids home. Take a bag. Because you knew you were going to a buffet. You knew the address to where you were going before you got there. Take a bag. Fill the bag up with food. And take it back to the kids. Or, while you're on a date, you know, tell the story about you, the three brothers and sisters. But no, I'm, I don't do the, the, the three brothers and sisters. Don't do that. Just listen. Listen to me closely, okay? I hope I didn't make it confusing, but I keep going back with my own personal thoughts in the middle of me trying to tell y'all what to do. Boom. So, while you leave him home, take a bag, fill it up. Because he wasn't going to record you filling no food up. And if he did... You should pull out your phone and start recording the fact that he took you to a buffet on the first date anyway. Let's talk about that because that's not a place you take nobody on no first date because that just shows you a buffet is $20 at most, $22 at most. So, there wasn't no place to take nobody on no first date anyway in the first place, okay? So, anyway, boom. Start filling up the bag before. What are you going to do? Look at him. Tell him you be hungry in the middle of the night. What? And then, you know, when you get in the car or on your second date, whatever case it be, if you feel comfortable with him, Whatever you let know, I got three kids. Whatever you don't owe nobody the truth about your children or your kids, especially if you a single mother. You, if you a single mom and you got three kids, you already know how these this is. You already know they heartless. They don't care anyway. So you gotta do it for the take one for the team. The three kids is the team. You know what I'm saying? Take one for the team. You know what I'm saying? You just um, give them some hand in the car. What I'm saying the first day, give them some hit in the car, whatever case may be. And then after that, after you do the little Chewbacca, do your the best you can. And if you got three kids, I know you're good at that. You know what I'm saying? You good, you a pro. Don't act like you're not. You know how to do something. You know how to do because they you popped them out. You got three kids, so you know how to do something. Do your best. Do what you know how to do. And he's not gonna care about no you have no three kids. He care about you. But once you finish doing what you know how to do best, whatever that is, don't nobody tell you no differently with it. What I'm telling you, I'm I'm being real, I'm telling you the truth. Once you give him the little, the throat, the throat goat, once you do all that, he won't be care. He won't be caring about you and worry about your well being. How you doing? It might not be to an extent that you wanted to be, but you can work yourself there because he liked you enough to meet you on Instagram and invite you out. I don't meet people offline, but he liked you enough to meet you online and invite you out and was willing to pay for the food. So you do know he had money at least. So yeah, once you take the food and put it in your bag or whatever, when y'all get in the car and you do the little nasty things that you feel like you need to do to secure, to secure your man for you and your family, boom. You let him know I got three kids and, you know, I ain't expecting you to take care of them. You spit your peace. This is just my responsibility, but I don't want to surprise you. That's scenario number two. Scenario number three. Leave the kids home in general, and you don't, have, you don't owe it to nobody to tell them how many kids you got. You know, when it gets serious enough, this is the most responsible scenario, which I'm not always responsible. That's why I told you the truth about what's doing the first two cases for us. Or, period. Period. 
You're, I, I'm not, and I'm not ashamed to say it. People act like they better than you, or they they don't do that. Yes, they do, girl. That's how they got their husband. Yes, they do. They do. Yes, they do. They do. That's how they. That's why they husband is sitting up there, and they boyfriend is sitting up there taking care of their kids, and they sitting up. <laughs> they sitting up there letting their kids call it dead because the mom is doing something strange, and it's okay. That's how. It's, that's okay. It's life, and sometimes it'll be the man having to do things to keep a woman. It's life. Girl, do what you got to do for you. That's my motto. Do what you got to do for you. So that's the scenario. Number, scenario number three is leave the kids home. Don't bring them. Don't tell them about them. You ain't got to, you know what I'm saying? If he want to come into your house and you want to, that's your business. If you want to invite somebody, a stranger into your house, I have invited strangers to my house. It's not always safe. It's not safe at all, actually. It is not safe at all. But if you want to invite a stranger to your house on the first day, that is not nobody business. That's how many of us was conceived at the end of the day. If you want to invite a stranger to your house or whatever, and he got a problem with you having three kids, that's not his business. At least you didn't bring him out on a date. And my kids is hungry. And I'm, I need to smoke. <laughs> and like, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, what? I, I know you met me online when you thought I was bougie or you thought I was this, I was that. But you know life ain't, you know that's, that's all fake. You know it was all uh, glitz and glam. I ain't what you expect me to be. Okay, in. But at the end of the day, these are my kids. This is my tribe. So you gonna love us or not? And remember that, it's like I gave you earlier too. And you gonna remember that anyway. And if you and if you move in, how my second second option is, which is probably the best option for you. If you move in, how my second option is, he gonna call you back anyway because you want to suck dick in the car. And I'm being real, he gonna call you back anyway, rather it's to take you out or just to spend time with you and kids. It's all, and then. Me, I'm not really good with building relationships with people that I don't really like like that. But I, I'm, I don't know. I'm really shy. I got to really, like, get there. I only been there with one person in my life to where I'm, like, really genuine now. Because I wasn't genuine with them at first. But where I'm really genuine with them now, I'm really sincere with them now. Whatever the case may be. But you got three kids. And them kids need a dad. You got a five and seven and a 17-year-old. You got to do something. You got Them kids need a dad. You don't want to be a single mom raising no kids out here. Or, you know... You, Cause you went on a date, meaning you needed the man for something. Hopefully, you just wasn't using him. Whatever case, he had a nice car. He didn't look ugly. Hopefully, he was not just using him. But if you like, that's the case. Whatever you gotta put some finesse on it. You just can't bring no three strange, three other men kids to no first date. It's just not right. And expect them to pay for food. You cannot do that. Cause I wouldn't pay for food unless you finessed it. Cause if you had enough grace about yourself to finesse the situation. I'm going to have to be like, this is a slick bitch. I got to keep her. Because she threw water on her face, came in here, read to me, telling me these lies. Whatever catch me, come on, sit down. We're going to be together. For, for what it is that I can use you for, for, for what it is you can use me for. So, yes, yeah, your girl, R -E -X -R -E, you saying, Remember, do what you got to do for you. That's life. I don't care if y'all don't like my scenarios. It's life.